And recently, the highest volume is the A version A. Okay. So those are. And in order to detect the object, uh, we are using bounding box. Right? Uh, later, I'll show you what is bounding box. Okay. And so this is the bounding box. But uh, out of this original image, uh, drawing a bounding box is not easy, really complicated algorithm, right? How many pixels we have here? Around, you know, uh, several hundred, <coughs> several hundred, right? So uh, when, uh, where to draw a bounding box, that's a uh, very difficult problem, right? In order to detect, uh, you know, human, uh, what kind of bounding box? If the size is uh, you know, uh, not easy to find, and location, the region is not easy to find, and about how about force? It's very difficult, right? So uh, at first time, they draw a bounding box of every possible size and every possible region. So for example, they are starting with uh, uh, let's say five by five pixel small uh, rectangle, right? And then try six by six, and then seven by seven, right? Like that way, okay, they draw all kinds of possible the bounding box, and then uh, try to find out object inside the bounding box, right? And calculate the probability of finding any object in there, okay? So, uh, and those are only I will use developed, right? So, uh, RCNN, uh, <coughs> uh, no, this is convolutional neural network I use, and <coughs> this one, SVN, is a machine learning algorithm, okay? So those are machine learning algorithms and uh, deep learning algorithms are combined, right? Later. <coughs> and even a uh, little bit more complicated uh, algorithm is added. A uh, cooling layer is just uh, selecting uh, a region and summarize it here. So that's why uh, the whole um, uh, map is reduced to here. And that's been fully connected to layer, right? So subject is a uh, uh, for classification. What kind of object it is, to, okay? So it's get complicated a little bit more and more, right? This is fast RCNN and this is faster RCNN uh, using uh, another uh, advanced algorithm, right? So uh, uh, this is the history and uh, I will show you one example of Yolo version 5, right? So basically Yolo, uh, they are trying to draw a bounding box like this, but in addition to this, they uh, basically you know, make this kind of grid, grid right? A uh, flat probability map, and then use this concept, just this one, right? So that way, <coughs> and using this, this is a fixed uh, size, but I like to try it grid, and finding out what kind of object in this grid they go to find, and then, Based on this, they pick up which bounding box is the most to get high probability, right? So that way, it's a lot faster and more efficient, okay, to find the bounding box and then find the object inside the bounding box, right? So that's the concept of uh, YOLO. Uh, so version seven, and it's about uh, when I made this. Slide uh, uh, one year uh, earlier or around, around uh, one or two years uh, earlier. So now we have version A, and <coughs> this is the uh, application I made using Euro version 5. And I showed you before. And this, you know, this is uh, uh, <coughs> this code is from GitHub. Right? So, uh, <coughs> mm, uh, yeah, I will show briefly a right, uh, demonstration of the Yolo version 5. And I, uh, from, you know, from 
Gita, okay? So uh, I'll go to Gita. This is GitHub, right? And here you will find a button down there. You button find the button opening colon, right? Just click this. Then this code uh, is copied to the colon of your account, right? So here colon that is just the Google account, the D colon, right? And then what you want to do is just drive. Uh, sorry for the Korean, but let me change it to uh, translate it to English. Uh, yeah, copy to drive, right? So you copy this to the, your drive, and there will be another tab open, and then uh, you can use it here, right? So this is your, uh, your copy, sorry for. English and then translate to English again. So everything is in English. So it says copy of your version file to you. Right, go down. Then uh, you can see it's a cell, right? Code cell, right? You just click it. Then you know, it is get the result, right? So this is the result now. So let me erase this and then run it again, right? So this is the first step and now uh, it makes copy of this Yolo version file, right? And then, uh, you know, let me see. Uh, so now there is a blank. Oh, right, nothing in this, right? But if we make a copy, clone, make a clone of this, then we see a lot of files over here, right? So, and then it for storage, this is the uh, uh, library that used for AI program. And you can, this is the utility program, right? We are going to use, okay? And then it installs uh, requirements text, this one, in order to run this, you know, your local file, it requires a lot of libraries, right? But, uh, you know, we have to install one by one, okay, those libraries, packages, but, you know, uh, is this a requirement text? I'll show you later, but, you know, this one includes all the uh, packages to install, right? List of uh, packages to, uh, we have to install in this text file. Right? And if you run this, install uh, of minus QR and require text, okay? This will install all the required packages for you, right? So uh, this is the, uh, uh, that one. So let me run this. Then it'll um, <coughs> cloning your version file and installing a lot of uh, libraries here. Then we see some file structures over here, okay? Uh, and then, so it's completed, right? Set up completed. So let me uh, see, the little file is here, right? Copy. And the file structure of this one is really complicated. Very complicated. A lot of files is here, right? A lot of people uh, were involved to develop this, this Yolo version uh, file, right? So originally, uh, one person started to develop, but later, because it's open source, a lot of people join it, you know, develop together, right? So, uh, so very complicated. So here is the model. Uh, Python files are here. Yes. TF is 